our job as uh, as the people of God is to give life to the world and bring them out of death and to bring life and power to each other as a church. My name is Idikai Mary. I'll be officiating during this morning service. And I encourage you that during this service that you lay your hand on whatever devices you are using to watch or to listen. The power of God will meet you. Jesus will meet you. Let us listen to the gospel for today. Hear ye the good news of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're reading from Luke chapter 9, verse 1 through 6. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, and do not have two tunics alike apiece. Whatever house you enter, stay there, and from there depart. And whoever will not receive you, when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet as a testimony against them. So they departed and went through their towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. There is only one way that the gospel is preached or the gospel is taught or the gospel is promoted and advanced. There's only one way. And that way is the only way. There are many other ways to preach the gospel. But when it comes to both public and private proclamation, in certain situations and circumstances, there's always one way and only one way. And that way is the gospel is preached or taught or manifested or take root or become the king's business, that's King Jesus' business, only through the casting out of demons, which is the experience of God's kingdom dominating a situation, an atmosphere, an environment place, a person's history. So how the good news is preached is by the acts of power and also by telling the story of Jesus and accepting him by saying it with your lips or with your mind. Because what people fail to note is when they always say, oh, you must say it with your lips. For those who can talk, what about if somebody is dumb? <coughs> I 
and they cannot talk. And they still accept Jesus as their new God, as their owner. They say it in their mind, it will still be heard. So sometimes the noise is not where it lies. So both the accepting of Christ as our new owner and God and its manifestation through the outpouring of the Holy Ghost that also has its manifestation. Casting out of demons and healing people of diverse diseases is how the good news of Jesus is being told. Building hospitals and other structures on the earth for his name's sake, schools, businesses, for his name's sake is also how the good news is told. Because you see, the gospel is called good news because it's about the good things that Jesus did. And about the good things you can experience if you are devoted to worshiping him as God and devoted to his law that will actually make you rich. Because there are differences between devotion to Jesus as a person, as God, as owner, worthy of worship, and also his laws that will transform into treasures, tangible things. The supernatural is still tangible because you can feel it and you can sense it. And you can see it happening physically. So throwing down Satan, that's the meaning of casting out of demons, throwing out and throwing down Satan and his kingdom and his organization, he doesn't have a kingdom, and his organization is one of the biggest ways that you know that God's kingdom is here. The atmosphere is charged with the presence of the living God. Next is healing people of diverse kind of sicknesses. That's what everyone who follows our ministry should be aiming at. That's how we want to tell the good news. Because the good news is to talk about Jesus' self-sacrifice and what that means. If you flip the other side of the meaning of a sacrifice was healing, and taking over, taking the earth again on our behalf, being the caretaker of what he himself established. It's the good news of what he did, the story of the miracles he performed. So when you tell the story of the miracles that Jesus performed in his time, that story should be replicated. It should become so relevant that God will duplicate it in any environment. Don't read the story of Jesus and walk away. Don't read the story of what God, the Trinity, did in the Old Testament and walk away. Do not walk away until you've asked God to repeat the same miracle for you. And that you want to become uh, JCNN, JCNN, Jesus' Cable News Network, Jesus' Cable News Network, HGCNN, Holy Ghost Cable News Network. You want to become that?
because of the miracles you've received. Demons have been casted out of your body. We call that deliverance. You've received healing. And you've seen the multiplication of mighty miracles. Do not walk away. Tell him to duplicate and to perform new miracles for you. Because that's the only way that the Bible becomes relevant to the people of my generation. I ask that what God did in the Old Testament for his people, what Jesus did in the New Testament for us, that they be duplicated, they be authenticated, they be manifested, and that they begin to happen today. In some other portions of the scriptures, uh, of, of the of the good news, he had things like raise the dead. These are all different manifestations that we know that the kingdom of God, they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Freedom. Freedom. So that you can be yourself to build to enjoy, to be contented. I ask God to do this for you. If you have people who are possessed by demons, if you have people who are sick, please, if you believe in the God of Israel, the God of the prince and princess, which one of them I am, if you believe that he is with me and you are fully convinced, call me. And that power that raised the dead, that drove out demons, that healed the sick, will come upon you and your loved ones. In the course of my ministry, around the world. There have been so many people healed of cancer, healed of bladder, lung, heart, brain injuries, delivered from different forms of disasters, healed of diverse kinds of sicknesses, given new body parts, car miracles, Barren women have children. Jobs, we cannot even count. People getting jobs. Scholarships. This is what the good news is about. Cannot even talk about people having houses. People being relocated to their place of favor. I ask that this, because why it is called good news is that when these good things happen to you and to your loved ones, you begin to smile and jump and dance and laugh and smile big time. Amen. You begin to have what we call balloon big big love and balloon big smile bbl and bbs balloon big smile balloon big laugh or laughter only good things will make somebody smile and laugh you belong to the master planet they love a lot Smile a lot. Yeah. That's your portion from now on. From now on, you belong to the club of the good things, the good news. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
both now and forevermore. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 amen.